So basically, would you cop or drop the following items? Uh, so you can follow along on the link in the episode description. Um, general rules are money is no problem for copying them, but you are not allowed to resell them. So you would be basically wearing, using, displaying them, and there is no purchase limit. All right, let's kick it off with some Jordan. So there's the Air Jordan 5 Retro Fire Red OG. It's releasing later next month. Um, so they're most predominantly white Jordan 5s uh, with accents of red and stuff. Uh, Eric, would you cop these? Um, yeah, I would. I would. They're beautiful. They're great shoes. They're beautiful shoes. They're very clean. I have a pair of the gray. I think it's a gray. Oh, the, the, the purple one. Purple color. Yeah. 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 But these are good. Um, these are beautiful. Uh, Joe? Yeah, I mean, it's a classic colorway. But I definitely cop those for sure. Um, can't go wrong with that. With that. With the white, red, and black. I feel in any combo. Yeah. And I like that the sole the back. I mean, it's got that sort of bluish mm. tint to it. Well, in the back one shot anyway, I don't know. But you can't see it in the other shot. Um, and H? Oh, definitely. Anything with OG at the end, count me in. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to start typing OG at the end of everything. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think I think they've already dropped, No, I think they were dropped uh, a few days uh, on the weekend oh, here. Yeah, I, I made. I started making this up to earlier this week. So. Yeah, um, I was I trying know. to. I was trying to get a pair. That's why I um. Yeah, I was trying to get a pair. All sold out. JD had it, no? No, not JD. Uh, Sneaker Boy had it, but it was a raffle draw. Um, Foot Locker sold out, obviously. Uh, yeah, I think you need yeah. to have a. a bit. Yeah, <laughs> plan, plan <laughs> ahead, <laughs> which I wasn't. <laughs> I mean, speaking of which, the collar for these fives. I mean, that's what. That's what the easy one took from it. Mm. Mm. The puffy, the puffy collar. Yeah. So again, like it's true. Different parts of it. It's nice, man. Such a good colorway. All right. Uh, so the next one is the Air Jordan Four metallic back. Uh, these were teased by GJ Khaled, who I mentioned earlier, um, mm. on some video. Apparently, they came to the Jordan brand uh, reps came to his house and they just laid out all these uh, Jordans for him. And I did input the video there uh, for your viewing pleasure. It's just him going like, "It's a meeting." Or DJ something. Carlin. Oh, I thought you... <laughs> we the best. That's we all he best. does. Another yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, the metallic pack. So there was a purple uh, or the I don't know you call those eyelet things, um, and a red one. And in the video, there's actually an orange one as well. Uh, would you cop these? Yes, yeah. from me. Um, so clean, man. I'll yeah. take the purple one. Thank you. But you're, you're right. Like, it's like 1 to 13. Yeah. Any color. So good, man. Yeah, it's yeah. like you pretty much cop the one. Yeah. Uh, There'd be some. I wouldn't say any. I would say any color, yeah. but that most most colors, yeah. yeah like the, the, the original colorway. The cleaner one. The, sure. the colorway. clean one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. The sewer color or something. Yeah. The sewer color, like the Zion, uh, <laughs> Zion Bayou Boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, I actually, um, I wouldn't mind actually after seeing it, after seeing more photos. It actually doesn't look too bad. It it's actually it Boys. looks better like up close than it does from above. up close. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not bad. All right. Um, to, to play it? <laughs> casual. Yeah. Play, flip. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> would you, but would you wear the current Jordans as in the performance one as casuals? No, no, no. I think I think there's something um, about performance Jordan that needs to be on the hardwood. Yeah, it just looks out of place anywhere. Yeah. But it's funny. Do you yeah. think over time these ones have been like, oh man, can't wait yeah, for the re-release of the <laughs> <three> <laughs> yeah. to wear them casually? Hey, maybe, yeah. maybe. <laughs> might be a different generation than us uh, so we might look at it i mean actually no maybe that we'll change our perspective later on mm. um the uh oh sorry uh, eric would you cop these jordan 4 yeah no, i think i think the purple and the purple and white uh yes yeah, beautiful <laughs> yeah they're very very clean looking and also the the metallic sheen on it's quite striking um right 
Oh, what about Joe and you? Yeah, I said yeah. That's the, oh yeah, you said yeah. Okay. And you know what you can wear with those purple ones, man? Some Laker socks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking more Kings. <laughs> yeah, <I'm assuming> Kings. <laughs> hey man, like, take like one or the other, man. Kings or Lakers, it doesn't matter. What the Sacramento Kings? <laughs> nah, the Sydney Kings. Nah, 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 nah. Sorry, I'm about the, the only Kings. Kings. Nah, the <laughs> Kings, man. Um, all right, this is a. Uh, well, there's a story to this one though. But um, Air Jordan One Obsidian. Would you try and keep the para- paramedics from cutting these Jordans off your leg if you got hit by a car? Um, so this this is actually so this is what happens. So uh, not me, obviously. Um, there was a Reddit user. Um, he shared a story of how he was hit by a car and still managed to save a pair of his Nike Air Jordan One Obsidian. Um, the user, his name is Titmouse Cunt. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying his name. <laughs> uh, a couple, he said, a couple of weeks ago, I got hit by a car as a pedestrian. Paramedics showed up and started cutting my clothes off to see if there's any damage. My left leg is busted, so they want to take off the shoes. So, as you can picture, like he's, they're trying to cut the shoes off. So he's like, please. So he pleaded with the paramedic, please, not the Jordans, sir. <laughs> But the, sh- but the shoe has to come off so we can see. So after some bleeding, the paramedic decided to uh, just cut the laces to take it off. It's funny, and, it's funny with that. It's, do you remember when I did my knee? That game? Yeah. That was, yeah. They were like, um, you got to take your shoe. Oh, like they were trying to carry me to the um, wheelchair and stuff. But I really yeah. want to take my shoes off so they didn't touch the outside. <laughs> like touch the outside of the court. Oh. <laughs> and they're, they're like, no, no, leave your shoe on, leave your shoe on. In my mind, I'm thinking, I don't want to get my shoes dirty. <laughs> sort of I remember thing, that because yeah. you're in a crazy amount of pain when you, when you did that on the court. Um, Actually, I have the same story, Joe. Like <laughs> when I when I did when I did my wrist. So so three weeks ago, I did my wrist. Like <laughs> I um I bought a I was wearing my Jordan 34s, the the black cat. Yeah. So I got that as a as a present from my fiance as an anniversary present, and um, it was the second time wearing it, right? And I, I only wear my basketball performance shoes on the hardwood. Yeah. So when the paramedics took me um, uh, in the ambulance and stuff, so it never touched you know any floor outside of the the basketball court anyway. But what happened was um, I got to the hospital to the ED and. Um, I'm pretty sure he was Filipino, but um, he goes, "Oh, what happened here?" I was like, "Oh yeah, you know, did my wrist playing basketball." He goes, "Oh yeah, nice shoes." I was like, "Yeah, the triple blacks." And I go to the ambulance guy. I was like, "Hey man, can you take my shoes off and just put it in my backpack?" I don't like the way the guy's looking at it. He was eyeballing my shoes, and then he turned around and goes, "Nah, man, it's not that good." And then I just laugh. Mind you, though, this was after the green whistle. So, I was, <laughs> yeah, it's probably higher shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, do you have a story like that, Eric? <laughs> uh, no, no, unfortunately. <laughs> um, no. what do you guys think about this colorway anyway? Like, again, it's clean as man. You have to like yeah. it. <laughs> you have to. You have to tell them to not yeah. cut your shoe up. Yeah. I'd have been the same, man. Please, sir, not the shoes. <laughs> Man, what's not to like? It's blue. Uh, it's you wear it with jeans. Uh, think, yeah, this is a, a nice colorway. Although I know I'm a little bit funny about the Jordan ones. I think they're, oh. they're, they're there's certain colorways that's not the OG. Yeah, yeah. OG, we all agree. Yeah. But but the the non OG colorways, I think sometimes they're oh yeah, a bit different. Yeah. I think <laughs> they're definitely yeah. um. I think the only one that I, I I really really admire was the um the Colette, the white and blue. Oh, I yeah. think they only gave it to the the staff when they shut the store. Mm. But everything outside of that, I think I can I, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, this color, color, this particular colorway, like I'm I'm not I'm not fast if I get it or not. But mm. yeah, it's um for me the ones would be just the breads and um. What is it called? The uh, uh, the Carolina one? The I don't know what they're called. Like the white and baby blue colorway. Mm, that's kind of why I like this because it's it's very similar. Yeah. 
So you guys like the baby blue color yeah. in general? I do. Um, As a color, it, yes. <laughs> yeah, just because it's the Carolina ones, but I don't know if I'd like wear it every day. Like I, I probably only wear it with certain things. Um, but yeah, I think for me, the breads I get the best wearing out of it for me personally. Mm. No one's gonna go on StockX later and check out the brand. <laughs> 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 right, I'm gonna be so much. Uh, um, all right, I'm uh, moving on. We'll stick uh, stick into the Jordans. Um, here's the more of the newer uh, models. Uh, the Jordan Delta SP sale, which Edison Chen revealed. Um, yes. So it's got React in it. Um, also, I noticed that the sole has some kind of cork looking. Uh, what do you call it? The insert, mm. um, cork looking. Um, mm. Yeah, what do you guys reckon on this one? Johan, because <laughs> I know what Johan's gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I know. We we all know what Johan's gonna say. <laughs> Just say it for me. <laughs> oh no, nah, I, I, I want it. Nah, uh, it's a drop. Uh, I I'm not a fan. All right, uh, for me, yeah. comp for sure. I'm waiting till the 18th of April to get that. <laughs> Same. Uh, I would want to use it for um, training when the gym reopens. <laughs> oh my god! In over six months. Yeah, in 2021, I'll be wearing these yeah. when I'm back training at the gym. But um, no, I think it'll be good. I mean, the react cushioning and stuff, um, the stability just looks really cool. Yeah. Also, like oh, the colors. Are... Are... Mm. Yeah, it's a very uh, subtle. Um, I mean, then you always, or I think you, they, they need to keep the product, you know, not just with the, I think the heavier, like the, the heavy hitters always, you know, the ones that, that Mike wore, but what happened to the brand outside of that? I think these are, these are, these are clean, mm. but mm. more to that, some of the, the, the work in progress, I think, shot that bottom, yeah, yeah, that that's, right that's, hand that's, corner, yeah, that, uh, like a brown, that's old. green, Oh yeah, that other color. Yeah, and there's yeah. a sole, but but I think it's in that shot there's there's this one version of something else in that sort of tan color in a green tongue. That that one's that one's nice. That one's better than what I, I like one. the yeah. the colors. I'm just not a fan of that big of a fan of the silhouette itself. It's a bit Russell Westbrookish. Exactly. Isn't exactly. It? <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't like it. The <laughs> 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 so why not? Yeah. Yeah. You're not a fan of the why not, there. Yeah. I like the concept. I think the execution is, is lacking a little bit. The first one, I think, had a lot of sort of energy, you know, a lot of positive things to say, and then it just became kind of like now, now everything goes. <laughs> <laughs> the first, I'm still trying to get a pair of the first one because I got a pair of the all blacks um, in the why not zero ones. Um, I wanted to get the pair that doesn't have the, the cover, so it's just laces, mm. doesn't the slip on. So there's they only he only released two colorways. One is white and yellow gray, and the other is uh, black and orange. Um, for me, I still think that's the best one that he released because it's full zoom, um, and I don't feel that you can roll your ankle on it. It's it's just a nice shoe, the ball, and I really like it actually. So going forward, um, it's just Johan who didn't want. No. All right. All right. That's all right. More for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Moving on to another brand. We've got uh, the Pharrell Williams uh, designed basketball shoes that are rooted in the 90s. Um, so we've got the zero to 60 uh, basketball silhouettes and the crazy BYW 2.0. Um, would you copper drop this uh, hoe? Yeah, I'd cop. <laughs> I um, <laughs> I um, I actually read into this uh, when the, uh, the when they leaked it, and I've got a pair of the BYWs in the black and whites, and I actually really like them, and I actually play in them as well, uh, once in a while. So they're actually quite comfy with the boost sole. Um, they are a bit chunky, um, but it's yeah, it's nice. Um, I, I would cop it. So you cop both? Uh, yeah, I'll cop both actually. 
and uh, Eric? These are definite yes. They're, the designs are sleek, colors are great. And, and yeah, I mean, the outsole, they, they drew a lot from, I think, Kobe 3, back when Kobe was in uh, Adidas. Yeah. Yeah, the feet you wear kind of. Yeah, nope. yeah that's it. That's Definitely. Awesome. I think of the feet you wear. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. No, they're, they're great. Uh, when are they coming out? I need to put that on my calendar. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I know. It's going to be like this age. Quick, put it in the calendar. Right now. <laughs> oh, okay. right now. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> they're out right now, actually. I, I, look, I, I, I pulled these um, images from the actual. Well, oh, the US really? online store anyway. Uh, so US. He, he actually has a lot. He actually has a lot that he's released um, that is helped design. Um, well, actually, I don't know how much input he does. He might just point at something and say, change that color. Um, but they have like superstars and like this uh, basketball hoodie and track pants sort of thing that is selling it. It's got a similar sort of color uh, tone, that sort of greenish uh, look to them. Um, so, Johan, would you get these? Um, it's funny because it, it, even the first one, so the um, the is it funny? One, well, <laughs> it, it says basketball inspired, so they're yeah. not really meant to be played basketball. Like, you're not yeah, they're, play basketball. I think they're either. sneakers, yeah. But I'd buy them, I'd cop them to wear to play basketball. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. I'd wear them. I wouldn't wear them yeah. outside of it though. So, but I'd cop them. Yeah. 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 But yeah. one of the features is the Pharrell Williams Reflex Reflexology Soft Liner. Mm. I don't know is what I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um all right, sounds like cops all around though too. Um I actually quite yeah. like these colours. Yeah. yeah. Um oh, the layering, the panels, the material. It's, yeah, it's yeah. great. It's better than half the other things out there right now. Yeah. I like the because I was reading some comments on this. A lot of the, a lot of people don't seem to like them. So, so I'm actually yeah. I'm generally surprised nice. by that actually. <laughs> yeah, um, nice. You know, even better. Fucking yeah. plebs. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the yeah. Adidas um, shop now. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, but <laughs> I can't. In the, car. I'm in the car right now. I don't, I don't know you, if it's on the Australian side. I know it's on the US one. Yeah, but I, I, I wish that they would just do one simple colorway one for the the high tops, like a, a black with a crazy color sole or something. Just, mm. just so I can match my socks and my uniform, man. Just. <laughs> it's. Come on, Pharrell. Come on. Come on, Pharrell. You're too colorful. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, while you guys are shopping, um, we'll move on to the next one. All right. So there's a Nike Zoom Freak One Cream City. Cream City. Cream City. All right. Uh, Copper drop, Eric. That's a that's a no for me. All right. Uh, these why, are, is, why is that? These are these are a bit of a disgrace. I think as a signature shoe, they. They're not, they don't have the whole lot of tech in them, from what I gather. I've never actually tried played in them, so don't quote me on these. Um, but, but yeah, the construction is, is kind of plastic and mesh, like nothing sort of says special in any way, you know, for, for a player of sort of Yana sort of um, caliber, Cal I think, think he deserve a little bit better. Because yeah. I, um, I agree with you, I, I've tried the freak ones on was just a regular black colorway thing in store and it just felt like slippers like that's what i that's what i thought i'm like oh this, i thought there'd be a bit more of a feel to these it feels but, cheap doesn't it yeah it doesn't yeah it feels cheap yeah. like uh um which is unfortunate so i feel like I the, you can't even feel the zoom like i think it's supposed to be a double zoom in the hip i think i could be wrong um don't quote me on that but i didn't really feel like much zoom in there at all, even cushioning. Um, yeah. I don't think it's a full length zoom. No, no, no. Double zoom in the heel, just the heel. Is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, it's a funny a place. Or land on your I don't know. I don't he's, know. The, he, he's the freak. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> us the freak. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. So no to Eric. No. Anyone else? I'm, I'm going to say no as well. 
No, nah, I'm not not a fan of the um the freak ones. Sorry. I mean, nice colorway. I don't mind the yeah. cream and the blue, but I just don't like the the design silhouette of the shoes. Period. For me, not a fan. It's some of the um, colorways like make the, the silhouette look better than yeah. what it is, and I think this is one of yeah. them. So I'd actually cop this. I don't care if it hurts my feet. Cover <laughs> that sort of thing. Because um, I like this one, and I also like that um, that leopard print one, Come, the um, coming, to, coming America. to America one. So I'd actually cop these ones. So. Cool. And uh, this leads into that leaked uh, Zoom oh Freak, yeah. um, which is Kobe esque, to be honest. It um, is. That's what I was scary. when you showed us initially. I was like, it really looks like a current shoe or a shoe that's already been released. Yeah, yeah, like a rehashed uh, silhouette, I guess. Um, but yeah, so Joe, are you going to cop this? It's a colour. Yeah. <laughs> Especially this colour, I don't know what's yeah. going on. Is it hands? <laughs> what are they? Um, at uh, H? Um, no, that's a definite no for me. I actually don't understand why the, the Nike tick is so big in the Yana shoes. Um, yeah. yeah, like why does it have to be half the shoe is the tick it kind of you makes me mean? think of their i think their soccer line uh the football line they oh, kind of mercurial like, yeah they're kind of like a giant swoosh on the side mm. um i think no, i'm not a fan not a fan know, even any colorway i just don't yeah i just not a fan um uh, it's an improvement you know right? it's an Im- yeah i think it's an improvement from the first one this is the first time i've seen these all oh, right. Okay. <laughs> um, the the outsole, I think it looks a lot like the first PG one. Like it's, it's a lot more sculpted. Mm. It mm. looks a little bit more striking, and it's very low. But you know that's got nothing to do with anything. Um, it's an improvement, but still, um, a drop. It's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to find some positives. Yeah. Sorry. It looks Sorry, like a, it looks like a running shoe. It looks like um. Yeah, the, the that's Nike what, the SP yeah. Fly thing. That's my oh, yeah, first reaction. I thought it looks like a running pair of running uh, shoes. I don't, I don't think any colorway can say that shoe. No, <laughs> no, neither. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait till we get more uh, our official shots. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll revisit it. We'll revisit Bro, we, this. they can do Tartan a Lakers colorway, and I still Tartan. wouldn't cop it. Tartan colorway for uh, Johan. Oh, hey, okay. Green Tartan. Oh, 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 if you do green titan, damn, that's a cop for me. Uh, I am there. <laughs> yeah. Yuck. Uh, All right. Um, and sorry, Adam, uh, Edgecrime, I know you play in the Zoom Freaks, so <laughs> yeah. um, the former guest of ours. Um, all right, so the Nike Kairi 6 Mama Mentality, this is the second Ooh, yes. uh, version that is done. So uh, with that Bruce Lee-inspired... Um, Slash, I think that's what that is from Into the Dragon. Um, uh, copper drop, guys. Uh, cop. Eric. Oh, who was? Oh, who sorry. Cop? Oh, yep. I'm so torn. Just I'm just so torn. Because you like Bruce Lee, but you I don't like Bruce Lee. Mario. I love um, Into the Dragon, Game of Death, any of those ones. But, um, um, the guy, No Retreat, No Surrender. But it's such a, it's a Kyrie man. I don't know. Like the silhouette, like the silhouette of the Ky- these Kyries. Sometimes they they look good. Like in this case, it does look good. But um, there was one where I, I don't know, like the, the straps are too big. The back, you know, had the, the white part of the shoe, pretty much like so. The back is massive as well. I really don't like it. Um, I kind of like that actually. Um, Not the but, eye, no, but the in, in this um, colorway, it's like, I actually quite like it. So, no, I, I'd, I'd copy it. <laughs> yeah. um, no, no, there's a drop. I think the for, for theme of Bruce Lee and sort of, you know, tie in with, with Mamba, I think they could actually execute these a little bit better. I think color blocking is all over the place. The, the white strap, it's 
quite distracting, I think, from the rest of the black shoe. I think they could have done the strap in a, maybe a different color. That doesn't. No, it's it's a yeah, it's a it's, it's a, a it's a drop. Um, I'm personally on the fence a little bit, but oh, actually, I noticed that there's a Kobe half Kobe half Kyrie on the some the logo. Um, didn't notice that before. Um, I'd say I guess I'd cop them. Yeah. My, my, it's pretty much that's a cop just because of novelty. Like, but I, yeah, mm, that's that's yeah. what I'm thinking about. I guess. Yeah. It's just something there's, about there's the... There's heaps better. There's heaps better yeah. other colorways Harry's has done. Um, this is not the best one, but yeah, just for the novelty, I agree. Yeah, I think it's that Bruce... And I, I feel like it's similar to Johan. Like, that Bruce Lee thing is just over... It's overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> Before he... Bruce Lee forced me from the grave. <laughs> um, all right, uh, moving on. Uh, the Travis Scott X Nike Air Max 270 React. I feel like this is going to be very... Device, if I guess. <laughs> um, it looks like they were picked out of a dumpster, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, any, I uh, say, a couple of drops <laughs> to you guys. Hell no, drop, drop that. Any particular reason? <laughs> uh, for the obvious reason, I just don't like the way it looks. Uh, sure. I've never been a fan. Of this silhouette, but it's like to begin with. To begin with, the colors yep. are like an old couch um, <laughs> with honeycomb at the bottom. Yeah, uh, but even then, but it's, it's, it's kind Travis of, Scott, yeah. man. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, well, they, but that's not the only reason. Right. I'll take a second look at it because it's a Travis Scott thing going. But I wouldn't uh, uh, drop Travis. Oh, almost caught you. Um, and Eric? <laughs> uh, no, that's a no. I'm not a fan of kind of pre, pre-aged, what you call it? Or it's just kind yeah, of... Like this, this pre yeah, like pre-distressed, like sort of like jeans or something? Pre-distressed, yeah. Like, I'd much rather you just let it age because you wear them. But like the yellow paint job that goes over the bottom. It's yeah, I don't know. Disgusting. Well, crumble. Well, crumble. <laughs> yeah, honeycomb, honeycomb, yeah. I crumble. Honeycomb, honeycomb, yeah. I would just take lace lock that sort of purple yeah. blue clear lace lock i'll just take it and put it on a different shoe <laughs> but the rest of the shoe can go in the trash uh, <laughs> that's the only nice thing about it uh, yeah. yeah i don't know why they painted it mustard like they got mustard and just wiped it around the bottom of the shoe um i guess it's felt like to put a authentic like when you get a toy the authentic battle damage um to it but yeah, like I said, I, like I said before, it's like someone picked it out of a dumpster. Mm. <laughs> it's like here you go, it's 190 USD. Um, yeah, it looks like a dentist, you know, the before <laughs> and after. Oh yeah, the before shot, <laughs> uh, before the whitening. Yeah, um, yeah, I, 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 that's a drop for me. So it's all drops all around for this guy. All right, uh, so we're sticking to that celeb um, collab thing with. Um, Adidas uh, with Jonah Hill. They did Superstar. I don't know why it's just being released in Thailand uh, initially for 4,500 baht. He must be really big in Thailand, though. <laughs> oh, There's a lot of people in Thailand. Because of Hangover. No, Jonah Hill. No, super bad. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know. But they, <laughs> might, they might have thought, oh, it's Jonah Hill. <laughs> but it was, Zach, it was actually Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna cop these. I don't know what he did to design them or anything. They just look like a regular, like well, a less than regular well, superstar. I've, I've Is watched, that his handwriting? I watched um, the episode of him in um, the complex sneaker shopping, and he's a massive Adidas fan, and he, and he loves his superstars. So I, I actually don't mind these ones. I'd actually cop these. Hmm. I'm personally not really a big fan of superstars in general. I don't know why that's, that's sort of look. Um, but Helen, dude, would you cop these? Yeah, I'd cop it. Um, it's because I actually like the fact that the the three stripes is white and it's just sort of um, what do you call it? Like 
yeah, blended with the shoe. So, um, and the shell toe is not as prominent as the originals. I kind of don't mind it actually. Uh, Eric? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. The It looks like the build is quite good, like the sort of full leather build. Mm. Mm, I would probably, pretty, yeah. yeah, I would unstitch the, <laughs> the handwriting <laughs> at the back. <laughs> yeah, we switch out the lace to a thinner lace, but I think yeah, these are these are clean. Just use it as that. a yeah, work. Throw a blazer over it, and then you'll be fine. I think that's his initials on the back, JH. Um, okay. Oh man, the the squiggly superstar. Squiggly. Oh right, yeah, yeah. I was actually Not- wondering if that's his handwriting. Like he just like put this on it, and he gets a marker and writes. <laughs> He writes superstar and I say, yeah, stitch that um, up. It's like when, when when you're bored in school and you scribble something and pretend that you're you're doing graffiti and tag. Oh yeah, yeah, he's tagging. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you tag the back of these shoes. Alright, uh, all right, next one. Uh, it's the off white uh, Odyssey. I don't know how to I guess he says Odyssey. O D S Y one thousand slides. These are three hundred and seventy dollars USD. Bro, I'll um, take 10 of them, thanks. Not. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I, I don't know how to describe these. They're like slides, there, but they're uh, kind of like those... Masua? M- Masua slides. <laughs> yeah. Which I've, so I've added the Masua. I, I don't know if this... I guess Masua is like an Aussie brand. Uh, but I've added the video of the ad for Masua, the Masua uh, slides. Um, Slippers, I don't know what you call them. I had knockoff um, versions of those Masura um, You did? Ages ago, like when I, as a kid, like knockoff ones, thinking they'd be they good. Hurt. Oh, they hurt bad. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, stepping on like, I don't know, like. Nails. Not even like, I don't know, they're just like, like prodding your feet and they really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine. I think my dad had a pair and then. Yeah. Sometimes when you're rushing out to like help your parents with groceries or something, and you put on whatever slippers that's out there, yeah, and then that just happened to be there. I was like, oh my god, why do these hurt so much? <laughs> yeah. like, it's not... <laughs> like it doesn't make sense. Is this yeah. supposed to massage my feet? It feels like yeah. it's just stabbing. Um, but yeah. So for me, not a definite uh, drop. Um, Johan sounds no, no way. Like he, he sounds keen. No, I'm, not a, I'm not a I'm not a slides <laughs> person. To be honest. More of a heavy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but I'm currently wearing. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm wearing a pair of Nike BMX slides. Um, and Eric? Oh no! No, definitely not. <laughs> they, 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 I was hoping you'd cop them. <laughs> they they no. have a kind of like a physical kind of slides. I'm not sure, but it, from the pictures, they just look like a bunch of used band aids put together. <laughs> Yeah, but if uh, they're off white band aids, yeah. like, uh, I don't think I. Three hundred and seventy. God. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. I actually uh, don't understand off white, so that, I'm showing my age here. <laughs> I think. Uh, well, I like some off white, but not in. But then it hits a point where it just keeps. I, the I like the sub white thing. Some off whites are like like the Prestos. Um, yeah. The, like I like the Chuck them. Taylors. Actually, really like. Um, but yeah, and it all goes with Jordan ones, but the other than that, I don't mm. really like them as well. Yeah. You yeah. yeah. got a bit, uh, boring, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. Fashion-y. Too fashion-y. Um, no, it's too, uh, it's too loud for me, I think. Like, when, when he did the IKEA range, uh, Virgil Abloh IKEA range, marker red, um, I felt like it's it's I don't know it's just funny uh, it's just not my style like aesthetically I just don't find it that nice but I don't know I actually don't see what the kids are, are seeing you know what I mean like like you you get the Jordans like it looks nice dollar aesthetically signs, that's what I'm saying. yeah well maybe they're flipping it's it the dollar sign but, yeah. yeah but you know like the Jordans the silhouette looks nice like aesthetically the colorways everything fits so it looks nice but I actually don't get a lot of the off-white stuff. I actually don't yeah. get how it looks. And nice. I agree. It's just that there's some, like the silhouettes that Johan was talking about, that I like. But other than that, it's not 
it's not like I'm clamoring to get his shit every mm. time. He says he puts his he puts the word of what it is on it in mm. in quotation marks. Yeah. Um, all right, let's move on to another designer. Uh, the Fear of God Essentials Lux Converse Chuck 70 collaboration. Johan's nodding. Um, all right. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, the, it's like a Converse is inside another Converse shoe to me. Um, all right, what would you cobble drop this, Joe? Of course. Black so that's a cough oh, for both. Like, um, no, I'm going to do with my current Chuck Taylors. I'm just going to get longer laces and then wrap them around. <laughs> 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 so you gotta get that little uh actually do they have the, they don't have those uh i don't know what you call that at the back like the loop the, you, you, yeah you put your finger through uh-huh. yeah. um yeah, so you need to stitch on one of those right. to the back of your shoe. <laughs> um but yeah uh so you'd cop that oh, i really uh, like them actually yeah i'm actually gonna look these off later <laughs> a lot of shopping <laughs> yeah uh look at this look at this guy look at this guy <laughs> shopping from home um, uh, Herwin, Herwin, uh, uh, Mary Lorenzo. Black, black ones. I'm not too too much of a fan of the white ones. I feel like the middle black stuff looks a bit funny with the white um, around it. But I, I do like the yeah. black ones. The black ones are nice. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go the black ones too. Um, yeah. Or you get both of them and we had opposite colors on Ooh. each foot. And a T-Mac. T-Mac. T-Mac that. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Um, Just the blacks. Uh, Eric? I, I I like the concept. No, I, think, I, I think it's executed well. I won't. I'll probably drop them because I can't wear chucks. Yeah. They, they're too narrow. Yeah. Yeah, they um, my feet. I don't know how people can walk around all day and then, and, yeah, I, well, I can't know. When we were in the Philippines, <laughs> no, um, these yeah. are the only shoes, oh, my Chuck Taylor's are the only shoes I brought over. I bought new shoes within two days because my feet were <laughs> walking around in them all day. Wait, wait, when, when we, when we were, when I was there too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. you know, there's, um, there's Chuck Taylor's that have some, like, better cushioning than the than the original one the ones that i have it's leather ones and the the cushioning is actually yeah. quite comfier than the, the old ones uh, they so, got the lunar long in it yeah i yeah, think so i think they got the lunar long yeah, with the nike tech in it yeah so if these have the the tech i'd cop the black ones if it doesn't no i'd drop because <laughs> yeah, the, the og ones are heavy it's so heavy. Yeah, yeah heavy and it hurts your feet after yeah, like I, an yeah. hour yeah i i i figured i, I felt that yeah, <laughs> you didn't figure it because you clearly wanted no, no. to. Okay, yeah. man, these are fine. I'll wear these all day. One next day, man, my feet really hurt. <laughs> uh, it's so fucking hot there. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. I don't know how they they could use the ball in these. You know? Yeah, that's the other yeah. thing. Yeah, how did they? How Crazy. Did they like, that's what made Bill Russell the goat. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> imagine like, if he had like like real Air Max, yeah. Yeah, real modern, real modern ball tech. shoe. Yeah. He'd be bouncing everywhere. Um, he's the guy from those Pepsi commercials, yeah. <laughs> no, that's Kyrie Irving. <laughs> yeah. And I, he, he, showed up, he showed up in one of the commercials. He did, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, uh, next collaboration, essentially. Uh, the Stussy and Nike Air Zoom screwed on Cage 2. Um, I know, I know Johan's got the cop eyes for the thing. <laughs> Why is um, it cop eyes? <laughs> He's put his order on StockX already. Yeah, he's already it's, it's in his cart already. Um, it's, this, this is a actual, like they got an apparel apparel, apparel, apparel. Uh, collection with it. Um, I'll actually like the shoot they did, um, but uh, would you copper drop this? They look like trainers, a creamy trainer and a silvery black one there. H? Nah, I, I'd drop, but I'll cop the box. The box is <laughs> Yeah, that's why, I put, that's why I put it in there. The box is really nice. <laughs> yeah, just the um, box. No, no to the shoes. Uh, just your hand with the cop eyes. No, well, I like the co- collab. I like Stussy, but I, I'm not a fan of the shoes. So, I'd actually... What about the... Uh, <laughs> what about the sort of the sweat? The sweat uh, I'm not a fan of the big baggy sweatpants, man. I like the... Yeah, I like the bag. Um, the Stussy oh, yeah, bag. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's not a tote. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the box, yeah, the box. That's it. Put the um, box in a bag. Yeah, that's all it's in there. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's an empty box. Yeah. Uh, Eric? These are, these are good. I mean, it's good to see, to see like, you know, one of the original street yeah. where sort of label I mean they, they, they've been forever so it's mm-hmm. sick see them still doing the thing it's cool and and I think the cage I haven't seen much of the the spirit on cage sort of silhouette mm-hmm. if I'm not if, if my if memory serves me I think it's Stephen Smith who was the original designer for these um they they look great uh, I, I like them I like the silver one but the uh yeah the, the apparel Probably not so much. It's not my my thing. But, but yeah, I, I like the energy. I like I like the Stussy. I like what they're doing with a rather sort of obscure silhouette. So there's a good black and silver cop, not the beige. All right. I was like, I got the wrong cop eyes as prediction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I actually don't mind these, but it is more of in terms of like. I would walk George wearing the, the black one. <laughs> like, like they just feel like some trend. They look comfortable. And I would wear the uh, sweatshirt, sweat, uh, the sweater um, pants at home. I'd wear maybe the, 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 the sweater top, not the pants. So. Uh, just get a few sizes down. <laughs> You'd be, be right. Probably be a bit short. But like, you'd, you'd grow into it. Right. Yeah. yeah, you'd grow into it. With my over like two shoes uh, size. Two big shoes as well, two sizes yeah. up. Yeah, I'll go on. I think in a uh, different colorway, these would be even better. I mean, in the product shot down the bottom, I mean, you can see that they have they have different colorways already. Mm. I think the white uh, one, the white with the black black heel tab, looks good. Is that the same? Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, no, it's a different one compared huh? to the black and silver. Yeah, it's got more of a white. Maybe it's all. Maybe it's a reflective. I'm not sure. I was gonna say like because uh, it's flash photography. Maybe it changed to. I don't. I don't know. Uh, maybe yeah. Maybe you're yeah. right. Actually. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Uh, well, in that case, yeah. Still silver. <laughs> just, just get it, and then uh, have it. um have big lights on you all the time. So you <laughs> <change> the <color. laughs> um. All right. Uh, let's move on to. This Ooh. is definitely this is definitely cop by everyone. Um. The. I think it's I don't I think it's the case silent Norva bucket hat by IKEA of Sweden. Uh, on the website it says easy to carry with you. I guess so because it used to be a bag. So basically, uh, we had that that phase of all these designers and stuff. They're just hacking um, IKEA bags and turning them into items of clothing. And this is uh, IKEA's own. Uh, I guess their own designers have made a bucket hat out of the IKEA bag. And they're selling it for, um, I think it's three ninety nine, uh, three dollars and ninety nine cents, mind you, on their store. Um, would you copper drop this uh, IKEA bag bucket hat? Essentially, um, Eric, what do you think? Uh, no, I don't do hat very well. That's one. Uh, it's, I think it's made of nylon. It looks like it. Yeah. Well, the, the IKEA seems- bag. Yeah, and so, I mean maybe it's one one way to adapt and reuse. Seems like a good idea, but but yeah, um, no, that's that's a no for me. <laughs> uh, Joe, because it's only three nine, I would cop it just for novelty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, go fishing in it. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it in the car as for gags. Uh, yeah. For lols. <laughs> well, imagine that like there's a limited supply of this and they resell like way more. Like an actual three hundred ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. What's not the like? It's I like IKEA. I like bucket hats, and you resell it for three ninety nine USD. <laughs> All right. No, it's no, like no. 20, no. I, it's I, like twenty I, bucks for us, man. <laughs> yeah. No, no, three three hundred and ninety nine. <laughs> no, I drop it. No, I don't do bucket hats, man. It's, no, that's yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I drop it. <laughs> I'd have it, but I'd never wear it. I'd like put it in like a bit on a raffle. Like I put, like, I put the names of the, of the bucket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull the name out of a hat yeah. and it'll just be that hat. Yeah. This is our uh, raffle hat. 
Yeah. Is um, that is that you that commented on it, Joe? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that is, that is the, re- <laughs> the, the reviews I found on the US online store anyway. This is by user yes, yes, yes. Their, their comment is yes, 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 yes. I recommend this product. <laughs> Five star. Um, and the other one was interesting. It's like, as someone who's loved the Fracta bag all her life, I was so excited to find this hat at my local IKEA. Everyone gets a kick out of it whenever I wear it, but it's usually, it's actually really great in the rain. So there's another benefit. Um, I bought another Corva hat for, a Norva hat for my four year old nephew, and he adores it as well. Um, she's obviously a bit older. So, um, all right, next one. Uh, this is a odd one. Supreme's uh, double stuff Oreo. Um, so they really, I think they tried. They released this earlier once before, and it was listed on eBay for 15k uh, USD, which is insane because they're uh, biscuits, they're cookies, and um, but they uh, they announced uh, releasing it um, the double stuff one by and which this was this is another thing that i went into some weird rabbit hole with this um it was modeled by instagram celebrity breadface who i didn't know about till now uh at breadface blog on instagram she's famous for smushing smushing her face into assorted bread based products like they're not hot dog buns um hot. i don't know why what's that <laughs> <laughs> hot <laughs> <laughs> um yeah well uh, i guess people that way to so, to be to tell you the truth. Um, so I added a video of her at in New Orleans smashing her face into the beignets at Cafe du Monde, uh, which have a lot of powdered sugar on them, and she did it in the cafe, which is funny. So, but she's made a big um, following out of that, and I guess she gets paid for some sponsored stuff. So, like this supreme thing. All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. You're copping all. You're copping the biscuits, aren't you? <laughs> I just want to know what it tastes like. It's just a standard Oreo. I think, I guess they just dyed it. Maybe it's like a red velvet thing. And it's chocolate. Um, but no, no clue. You'll have to cop it to find out. And because it, it, it's not, like, I had the money, I'll probably cop it just to taste it. What yeah. the fuss is about. Uh, I think everyone will be like, no, why are you eating it? <laughs> It'd be a weird I'll one. I'll probably eat it in mine, you know. Line, lined up outside the Supreme store or something. <laughs> oh. Uh, Helen? No, no, money's drop. not an issue though. But if money's not a free cookie. Free cookie? <laughs> yeah, if it's a free cookie, I'd take it, but I still wouldn't pay. Even if money's not an issue, 15000 for a cookie. Oh no, this, no, that's for the resale. It's probably not that much. I don't know how much. Oh, it okay. Really retail. Um, uh, nah, I'll just go to my Woolies and get standard Oreos. Okay, so if you went to Woolies and there was Supreme <laughs> Oreos, my oh, yeah. standard Oreos, it's the same price, which one would yeah. you take? Standard Oreos. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't. No, you weren't. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not a big, like, Supreme oh, fan, but to be honest. No, no, but it's the same, same price. price. Yeah, but like... Like I don't, I don't know what it tastes like. I know what Oreo tastes. They're awesome. No, if it so says I'd, there, it's I'd like, stick to what like I the know. standard standard Oreo taste, like the original standard Oreo ori- taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah original right. taste, original everything on it. It just had yeah. like supreme branding all over it, and it was the same. So it just tastes like crap. Nah, I still get Oreo. <laughs> well, Oreo brand is better than supreme. What? <laughs> but it is, it's still Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Uh, Sorry, did I ask you already, Eric, if you'd get... Oh, no, you said you would eat. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will buy a packet. Just eat the eat. Go with a good cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> and all these uh, all Supreme heads are like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I would cop these if money... Yeah, if money's no issue, I'm totally getting it. Yeah, it's just for the novelty, right? Again. Yeah. yeah. Just for lols. Just for lols. <laughs> Shake this up. Um, all right, next one. Converse Tokyo X Ceramic Japan X. I guess you say dot pink. Uh, All star high, but it's a uh, basically like a vase or some sort. Um, so it's just a Chuck Taylor, but they made a ceramic out of it. Um, copper drop for this pot plant, pot 
pot, not plant. <laughs> a pot for plants, but it's a sneaker. Johan, oh, I'm a big Chuck Taylor fan, and um, I'm actually have to in my garden. Now we're getting it done, oh, and we're my wife and I are in the middle of designing. Like she's mainly designing what what it's gonna be like. We decided to make it a Japanese thing as well. So oh, perfect. Like, yeah, yeah, but it's a bit tacky. <laughs> it's a bit tacky for me. So I'd say drop for this one. So it's like, it lines up with everything like uh, things I'd I'd like, but seeing it in that with the um the, what do you call it like a what is that some sort of tree <laughs> in it? It's yeah, like cherry, that, cherry blossom. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not really it should look, make it look it would it look tacky out there. I think. And uh, Eric, you like Japan. Mm. Yeah, no, I love, I love Japan, I um, love ceramics, uh, but this is not it. I've seen similar products, I think, I think some other makers have made um, sort of Jordan 1 through you know, 12, I think, as a ceramic um, product, but no, I think it's just a little bit, bit too, you know, hot for a minute. You can do that for a while and then it's, now it's just the weird days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> H, uh... No, I'm not a fan. I um, yeah, I like Con- um, Chuck Taylor's. Same with Johan, but I don't know. I just don't think it belongs like in, in a garden. Japanese garden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I think you know. Like I guess Japanese if it was garden. a more con- contemporary themed garden, or like a not even contemporary, more of a not. It, it seems so. The Japanese thing is its own sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like, you can, so I have to mix yeah, something new. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, for me, I, I'm a bit more of a like. First, I think like I think a Japanese garden. I think it, like, it needs to be like everything Japanese garden style yeah. theme. Um, and putting that in, I think is just too odd for me. I wouldn't Ask do it. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I wouldn't really get it either. It's. Yeah. it's <laughs> Jet out like sort them. I just thought it'd be an interesting one because I, I know that um, Converse is licensed. They license out Converse brand to Japan, yeah, and right. they do their they do their own shit. They do they do all this crazy stuff. So it's like North Face. Um, they have a purple label, and that's a Japanese exclusive thing. And they 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 go they go pretty interesting with their stuff. So um, I like quite like when they do stuff like this. They just get out of there. But I don't want this particular thing. Um, all right. Uh, as part of the Air Max Day uh, for 2020, uh, Matt Moss was selling the uh, these uh, duck camo capsule collection. So there was the the Air Max 90, which has got the camo and the red infrared, and the 2090 with the sort of the black infrared look. Um, plus, also I think there's also like a subtle camo to it, but you can't really see it in these images. Um, yeah, but see. also. They had, a, they had a raffle uh, where you can also win an Atmos uh, Optimus Prime, complete with Energon Axe um, as well. So, uh, would you cover drop this collection, uh, Joe? Uh, yeah, uh, I've got the MX 90s for sure. Oh, I really like those ones. Um, I'm a, I, I, I really like camo. Um, you do? Yeah. I got a lot of camera stuff. I'm sort of not a fan can't, of the can't see it. of the um, yeah. Mix that shit up, camo and time. Um, let's see if you can see it here. <laughs> Hang on. Put some put some pants on. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's not Friday. Yeah. While he's looking for that, Eric, would you cover drop this? Oh, uh, okay. you have a duck camera. So this is this, this is be, Coach yeah. um, digital camo <laughs> jacket. Um, and this is like my, um, I don't know, it's sort of like a like an army jacket, but it's sort of like a long thing. Anyway, so yeah, it's like two of my favorite jackets actually. So. Oh. Um, yeah. I don't know why I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Eric, you sorry, you said you would get these. So uh, you know. Yeah, the '90s probably, but the rest of I think overall the the Air Max A seems to be a little bit lacking. I think this year. Or 
probably good reason. But um, yeah, I could fa- I'm a fan of the Atmos sort of collaboration most of the time. I think this one was sort of 50-50 for me. So I don't know, on events, yeah. drop, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, H? Um, I don't like Kemo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I never got into Bape um, it reminds me a bit like Bape mm. um, like the style uh, I, I, you guys know I like the MX90 infrareds I've, I've got a pair I've two pairs actually and um, I just don't like the camo I just think it's a it's an odd look for me personally it's not my style I do like the 2090 uh, colorway I uh, don't know if I like the silhouette too much though, yeah, but I would not a fan of give it a um, yeah, I'm a bit 50 50. I would, I think that's one of those shoes that I'd like to try on first and see how it looks on my feet mm. before saying a definite no. So I'm a maybe on the 2090. Right. Um, yeah, I'm on the fence with these two, um, but I guess I would cop the 2090 and. I would get the transformer because I just so. <laughs> Optimus Prime. All right, uh, moving on. Well, I just realized what time we were <laughs> setting right now, despite the quality of a quantity thing I said before. Um, <laughs> let's get to Yeezys, the Yeezy Boost 380 Mist. Um, copper drop, guys. Quick one, drop. Not a fan. Drop for me because, uh, like I said earlier, my feet would mushroom <laughs> over the top of this shit. Um, uh, H is a cop. I know. He's got the cop. I, um, cop I, I, I said, sure. I said drop last week, but um, funny story was I um, I tried to buy these last week um, <laughs> from online. So I actually want to give it a go to see what it looks like on my feet before I say complete drop, because I think there's always some crazy manners to the way Yeezy um, designs or sort of sees. Um, uh, his shoes so i would give it a crack before i say drop so i'm i'm, I'm a cop for now uh, uh drop i think 380 is a funny silhouette i think 350 had had a lot mm. had a lot going on 380 seemed like a like a dumb down like a take down version of it like the i think the outsole tends to be a little bit simplistic yeah and then is. the top it's like a sock thing, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. And the heel is a little bit kind of um, yeah. lost me there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, just quickly as well. Um, there's a blue out by that. I guess got leaked oh, a little bit. Make it any better for me? No. <laughs> it doesn't. This actually makes it worse. <laughs> I think. Can I just say it? I I reckon right. Like Kanye is so arrogant. He goes, I'm trying to make something so freaking ugly and see if people actually will queue up and buy it like i reckon they're fucking with people right like this colorway is absolutely disgusting yeah speaking of I disgusting like... <laughs> scroll down a little bit more <laughs> 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 all right i'm gonna assume that people are dropping all around on that one um drop, yeah because for me it's the definite i got the drop eyes <laughs> Um, so Yeezy Foam Runner, oh um, they, they they leaked or whatever, a bunch of other colorways. It's just different colors of that uh, alien looking croc thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Johan's got the drop eyes. It sounds like, seems like uh, Eric. Appreciate the effort. I think there's a lot of Saha, Saha design in there. Uh, yeah, the Saha yes. did this thing. I was going to say. Uh, appreciate Saha the, did uh, have a line of, actually, Saha did, did have a, a, a line of shoes i think what they cross many years ago <laughs> i think they're heels. Heels, heels. heels yeah but it didn't look anything like the kind of stuff that she typically is known for yeah but um, probably feel like it was limited by the technology i think yeah, if yeah. she was to do it now i think now, it yeah. something like that. but but um no um, not for me appreciate it though <laughs> yeah i it. i agree i um i'm a massive I love all her work and it, the lines and the curves just reminds me of a lot of Zaha Hadid um, uh, architecture um, but just the execution yeah nah I don't see it as a shoe but uh, yeah definitely appreciate all the the design input into it but nah drop for me 
I don't appreciate the zone. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Um, so this is a little uh, different. Um, Half-Life Alex released recently. It's a VR game by Valve. Um, basi- basically, it's a it's an interesting one because of all the self isolation everyone has to do. You can stay indoors. Maybe you can go outdoors virtually. Um, but yeah, so um, this is a VR game and. You need to get the Valve Index or the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift to do it. So it, it gets quite expensive to just play this game, even though the game's like 60 bucks. Uh, would you copper drop uh, a VR whatever plus the game to play? Man, if money's not an issue, yeah, for sure. Give it a go. Joke. This looks amazing. Like, uh, yeah. this is the first time I've seen it as well. The uh, graphic looks incredible. Yeah. But it's, uh, I, I get motion sickness from VR, so I don't know, maybe cough, but cough also try it. bring a bottle of yeah, motion sickness pill. Yeah. <laughs> I'd cop the, this because um, um, it's like a triple A game as well, um, going into VR. And from reviews that I've watched and read, um, the game's meant to be awesome as well. So I'd probably cop it, even though I was never a Half Life fan, I'd cop it just to get. Uh, mm. yeah uh, me too like um i, I agree with uh, eric like for me i am like terrible with first person shooters which aren't in vr let alone i feel like this would be a similar situation for me um but i, I really want to try something that's really out there like this um but yeah um there was also that other thing i added at the end at the bottom like uh you get the thing oh, with the tread the weird treadmill yeah. thing so you can run around i don't think this game's designed for that particular thing but um so you can uh, actually get a workout while you're playing a video game great for having to stay indoors and uh they, they are some companies that make like a haptic feedback uh, suit thing so if you get shot you can feel the, the sort of bullets oh, hit you damn. and stuff like that so you can get really immersive with this shit <laughs> so um but yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd cop just to try this thing. But, okay. uh, just to try the tech, man. I'd cop all of them. Yeah, but I might hurl. I might hurl while trying to play it. <laughs> so. Yeah, everything, everything, but the the bodysuit. I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I'm being shot. Because <laughs> I'm shit at I'm shit at these games, man. I'm gonna. Real, I'm gonna feel it every bullet. time. <laughs> I'm gonna feel it like electri- um, electrocution every time. That's. They're, they're yeah. not a fan of the bodysuit. I hope we're a decade away from the actual Matrix. This yeah. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. I reckon. <laughs> um, all right, uh, we'll move on to uh, the last one. It's a, it's a, it's, this is a, this is an out there one. Uh, uh, but money's no object to this. So it's a rare classic Apple sneakers. So um, this, there's a pair of rare Apple classic sneakers. Hey, which is <laughs> Are you Steve Jobs? <laughs> Are you Steve Jobs? <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's sold for 96, uh, 9700 at auction uh, earlier what? this week. So they're prototypes that are for Apple employees in the early 90s um, that never went on sale to the general public. Um, so they're, our, they're, they've become collectibles. Um, but another pair sold for 30k at auction in 2017. All right, uh, so copper drop these. You can't resell these, by the way. What? That's a that's a oh, definite. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it looks like the old rock, um, Reebok Classic or the oh, yeah, what? Cool. Power Face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cop and then just um, put it in a glass case. I'm, I'm a fan <laughs> of that that multicolor Apple logo. Uh, yeah. I, I, I wish they, they would come back. You know, to bring it back. But... Apple Macintosh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. When they said the whole word Macintosh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so do you... Are you one of those guys, Eric, that has like the old Apple? Yes, like, I have. Yeah. Oh, you do? <laughs> I do it. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think the first sort of... I think the, the first iMac, the jelly, the kind of multicolored jelly monitor looking one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had the yeah. handle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the first iPhone, I think, is still in my my um, closet somewhere. Oh, oh. It's got a 
with his apple eyes, he's coming on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe, you said yes. Uh, look, um, I mean, I've had my fresh air back product, so I think it's obviously here and all the eye Mackie, and I've got a newer one in front of me here that I can't really see. Um, yeah, and I've got the iPhones, but yeah, I'd cop these just just cause. But I would have, like, if it was like, hey, would you wear these? Nah, hold on. But I'd, I'd buy it for like, just cause it's that Apple. Um, yeah. uh, H. I'd buy it just for novelty purposes. That's that's about it. Um, as you guys know, I'm not like I, I do I do love the Apple designs. I think Apple make great products, but yeah, I'm not a like all my products now is Android because I don't like to I don't like the fact that Apple monopolizes on on everything. So, um, but I I get it just because it's the novelty thing personally. And it's got the visible air unit at the back as well. I mean, yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. Apple thing. You put a Jumpman logo on it, I think that would be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, the question like is, would you, would you guys buy it if it didn't have an Apple logo? Yeah, I wouldn't. As if there was Jordan all over it? Sorry. If there was Jumpman, like if you removed Apple and it was Jumpman. And maybe like a, like a yeah, like instead of the Apple, you have like the pick there instead. Looks like a Jordan, Wait, man. It's like a low, a, yeah, a three a low. Bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little yeah, bit actually. Yeah. Oh, damn it! Yeah, ah. I have to cop it now. In your face. <laughs> you went from drop bars to cop bars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, I, I, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say drop before, but then you convinced me with the other shit. <laughs> <laughs> sold. Uh, sold because of the novelty. Um, yeah, that ends our cop and drop.